yeah. Ratings, comrades. This is I'm Gaming Caleb back with part uh, five, yeah, of uh, Doom 64 for Doom 2. I had to think there for a second because uh, I just got finished recording footage for another Doom video. I was showing off Final Raider, a Tomb Raider mod for Doom, and uh, there was a sequel for that. I'm going to show that off later. I'm going to try it out. For the meantime, let's continue our uh, descent to hell in Doom 64 for Doom 2. Like I said before, I probably should have thought of a texture mod so it actually looks like Doom 64, but uh, I kind of want to show it off with the regular assets because after all it's called Doom 64 for Doom 2, so it makes sense that I, uh, you know, just stick with regular Doom assets. Plus, if you wanted to play Doom 64 and Jeezy Doom, just get Doom 64 Retribution. That might be one of the reasons... Doom 64's Iowa file doesn't work on, uh... Jeez, you know, at least, uh... I haven't tried it properly, I'm going to check again. I don't think it works. Pretty eerie music here. Not as eerie as, uh... The actual Doom 64 music. So I had breakfast not too long ago, so... Yeah, not too much going on. Uh, my sister's visiting. My sister and her husband are visiting my his uh, cousin in Dallas again. He's doing a lot better. He recently had heart surgery because he had a heart attack earlier this year, and you know, naturally, they're worried about him. But Corman says he's doing okay, and they're just checking up on him. All is well. Good to hear. You know, I don't know him personally. I do hope my brother in law's cousin's okay. So I got a lot of trial to Princess Peach Showtime. If you saw my video from yesterday, I got that as long as Super Mario Odyssey and Lego Worlds on Switch. It's a pretty simplistic game, which makes sense as a Nintendo property. It's Princess Peach. She hadn't had a new game since Super Princess Peach back in the DS. And it's pretty interesting having different costumes for different scenes, where you have different abilities and stuff. As I noticed, the loading screens kind of lag a bit. And... You know, gameplay is pretty basic. Uh, it's not boring, but it is basic. Like, it's nothing super special. Alright. And that charging dock for my Joy-Cons works too. All four of my Joy-Cons are fully charged, ready to go. One of these days I'm gonna get some steering wheel uh, attachments for those Joy-Cons. Give me a chance to play Mario Kart 8. Because I know the motion controls are pretty responsive on that. Though for the most part I just stick to using a controller. They do still they do sell steering wheel controllers. Do you remember the Lost Souls of Doom 64 being freakier? They're like, sort of dem demonic skulls rather than human skulls with horns on them. Which is a design I'm accustomed to. Okay, no. Okay. I don't know if it's possible to get telefracked in Doom 64, I don't remember. I think... I kind of have an idea. 
I think the next Doom map, map I'm gonna try is Legacy of Rust. For those that don't know, um, Tomb 1 and 2 recently got repackaged, which includes all the uh, official expansion packs and whatnot, including uh, No Rest for the Living, which was exclusive to the Xbox Live Arcade version of Doom 2. And it includes a brand new episode called uh, Legacy of Rust, which is interesting because it uses unused assets uh, from like the Doom beta and stuff like that. And it changed up two of the weapons. It also had some new monsters. Which I played a little bit of it. Uh, I'm not getting stuck in the second level. And thankfully, I'm not the only one. I feel the music in that level is tight. There we go. Alright. That took that long. Dark entries. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Legacy of Rust is a separate download for use in DZ Doom. I think it is. If not, then we'll just play through Doom 1 and 2. Dramatic music here. Which makes sense, you know, got the super shoddy. Okay. I'm genuinely curious what the last, uh... They don't even light up, so... There we go. One of those reasons I'm glad I keep a lot of rockets handy. I realized like 50% of this playthrough I've been using the Super Shotgun. If I said it once, I said it a million times. I love the Super Shotgun and Doom. It's one of the best weapons in first person shooters, period. And you can't prove otherwise. Other double shotguns and other games just can't compare. Heck, even like the newer Super Shotguns and Doom games, they're good. But they just can't match the majesty that is the Doom 2. Super shotgun. those homing rockets. I just walked right into that fireball. You know, if you didn't know any better, if, uh, I like to think of it this way, you know, I know Doom 2 is obviously the sequel to Doom 1. But some people consider it more of an expansion pack because it has like new textures, new monsters, of course, super shoddy. 
I like to think this is definitely what Doom 64 would look like if it weren't Doom 2. This would be like a unofficial Doom 3. Even though Doom 64 is kind of its own thing. Okay. I forgot what that did. Okay, just to break up the monotony. Yeah, won't be surprised if they just put a Spider Mastermind. It's fun while it's going. No, in Doom 64, you fight the Mother Demon instead of the Icon of Sin. So I'm not sure how it's going to play out here. Ugh, hit my mouse there. Yeah, made some, uh... <sighs> I like how I tar out one subject and quickly switch to another. That's usually my shtick. These kind of videos. But anyway, made some Kahlua pork yesterday in the Instant Pot. Use a different recipe. One I used before is pretty simple. It's just pork, water, salt, and a little bit of liquid smoke. This one actually called for uh, wrapping the pork in bacon. And put like a whole garlic clove inside the meat. And it turned out pretty good. Pretty juicy, too. Let's put on some rice. Because there's this brand of rice. We always get three ladies brand. You know, my mother used to buy that rice all the time, and I've grown up with it, and then I loved it, so I just keep buying that. Nothing against the other brands, but, you know, I just stick with three ladies brand because what I know best. It's kind of expensive. It's like thirty-five dollars, like a, a across size, like a twenty-pound bag. It'll last a long time. Cause it's not perishable, but yeah, it's pretty pricey. But since we eat it a lot, I'm probably gonna get two bags. I think my local Asian Mart, just a few blocks down, always has them on hand. They were kind of hard to find a few years ago because of the pandemic. It's definitely a frustrating time for everyone. Now I have to get the ouch face from the Arachnotron. Usually what I get is either from a Baron, a Hell Knight, an Archvile, or a Cyber Demon. I don't think I've ever, ever had it dealt with an Arachnotron before. I know it's all this time we still haven't encountered any cyber demons. Probably won't be until later on. There's a map player called Watch Your Step. I believe that's your first encounter with a cyber demon in uh, Doom 64. Archvile, which did not exist in Doom 64. <laughs> Blood Keep. What kind of music is this? This is Black Sabbath. They not Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden. I don't think it's Metallica. Yeah, I know I mentioned in the previous uh, <laughs> video. After beating the game, I like uh, check all the demons. I just rotate around, and look at their butts. I was a dumbass nine-year-old kid, okay? 
I had to find some ways to entertain myself. Oh, more so. Cac I almost said Siren Demons. Cacodemons. Demons. Ow. So like I said, auto-aim could be your best friend or your worst enemy. Depending on what you're using. You use a rocket launcher, you better have a lot of open space and you better hope your target's not underneath you, because otherwise you'll be eating that rocket for breakfast. Somehow I'll survive that. I don't know, did I turn on Buddha? I did turn on Buddha, okay. That's why I survived that. Yeah, it's pretty for the sake of brevity, so I'm not constantly starting levels and stuff. So under normal circumstances, I would have been dead. I still haven't found any keys. So this almost sounds like Iron Maiden. Let's jump down here. Let's see, nothing here. Okay. Ah! Yeah, I know I mentioned it before that. The chain gun in Doom 64 is really punchy. Had a little screen shake too. That's one of the things, uh. <coughs> yeah, Doom 64 didn't get enough credit for a screen shake. Like certain weapons. Yeah, I remember the chain gun in Doom, two Doom 64 being really satisfying. They're a lot better than Doom 3's chain gun. Which I mentioned before, I wasn't a huge fan of Doom 3's chain gun. It was punchy, it was situational. But the fact that ammo was kind of hard to find for it. Now the figure is shooting like a big cannon. Yeah, I remember it fired, and now it fired slow. Like I said, ammo was kind of hard to come by. <coughs> I think I forgot something. Okay. I think that opened something. Secret. Okay, that's in here. Oh, these are open now. Got the Wolfenstein walls here, okay. See, now they can be pretty menacing, not only because they're almost invisible, like specters, but in dark areas. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how we're because of our shotgun blast, the freaking skeleton. Last I check, uh, shotgun shells can obliterate bone. All that and still no key. Here we go. Okay, I just wasn't paying attention.
be. I'm, I'm enjoying the shit out of Slime 3K. You know, if you like Vampire Survivors, definitely check that game out. And check out Despot's game too. It's a pretty fun, like little role RPG. Like it's fun to all the different like uh, weapons and stuff you can use, and everything's randomized, so naturally no two playthroughs are gonna be alike. Actually got a little bit of rain this morning. It wasn't much though, it's just a little drizzle. And it's a little cooler now, though uh won't be for long. This is the way back up. This why you have always run on. Okay, don't need the rocket launcher, I already have one. Oh, goodness. Let's go itch my head. Shave my head this morning. I've already been here. What am I doing? I'm gonna get to the blue key door. Once I get the super shotgun, I'm pretty much using it to run out of ammo. Then I switch to another gun. There you are. Yeah, no chain guards in Doom 64. Probably could have saved that, but whatever. I don't have encountered any pain elementals yet. States. Ow, didn't mean to do that. See, I was talking about the auto aim. <laughs> Hardcore. Okay, more frickin'. Look at a small map. Only 22 monsters. We'll probably call the video after this. Ow. Right, it's definitely hard. I, I, I remember this map now, yeah. All the Mancubi constantly spawning and Make it eat some spicy meatballs for breakfast. Yeah.
Yeah, if I were a demon, I'd definitely be a mancubus, because I'm, cause I'm fat. And who doesn't want freaking cannons for arms? Granted, you won't be able to like, pick anything up or jack off or anything, but... You get to shoot stuff! Okay, two more monsters. Okay, last monster. Where is he? Oh, this is uh, okay. Oh, this is your first encounter with Cyber Demon. Use for not watch your step. That's just, uh, level that came to mind. What kind of Doom's the worst Cyber Demon? Remember the game being really heavy on the fog, too? Which kind of adds to that eeriness. Alright. This is nice. Watch your step. Yeah, I was just talking about that. You smile. The demons did not expect you to survive this far. You feel their demonic presence waiting for you. Let them taste their guts. Was that from Doom 64? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I remember this all too well. I remember it being all blue. A lot of fog and stuff. No, it wasn't blue, it was like... brownish. That was a secret level that was all blue and foggy. But anyway, this is part 5 of Doom 64 and Doom 2. And this is how we get uh, talk. This is how we get Caleb signing out. Y'all have a good day. Suck it up, life's tough. We know that someone's got better stuff than can throw cash. Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path. I don't need no handouts on my own man. Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it in fast, yeah. Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah. Man, I only get down with the best, on. Uh. I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh.